Welcome to Atma and today we are learning the color sampler tool in Photoshop. The color sampler tool is located under the eyedropper tool and its shortcut is I. What the color sampler tool does is that if you click on any part of the image, a pixel to be precise, it creates a sort of tracking pin and sticks to that part. It also gets numbered as 1 since this is the first sampling pin on this image. In addition to that, the info tab also pops up and it shows us lots of information about the pixel on which the color sampler pin, if you will, is currently placed. The info tab records the first color sampler pin as hashtag 1 and then it goes on to record the color values for that pixel. If I place a second color sampler pin on this image, the info tab is gonna record that in a proper numbered manner. So we have here in the info tab the values for the second color sampling pin as well. So this tool basically lets you collect the color values of the pixels in an image and then maybe use it for some future project. And at max you can have 10 color sampling pins on your image and not more than that. You can see that the info tab has expanded since it has recorded all the new color sampler pins on this image. And as I said earlier, it doesn't allow more than 10 color samples. You can move your color sampler pin for that, you just need to take your cursor inside the pin you want to move, then left click on it and then drag it wherever you want. You can see this over here shows the real time position coordinates of the color sampler pin as I move it across the image. But contrary to this, you can see that the color values over here do not show any real time change as I move the color sampler pin. That's because it's moving over the same color so there is no change in color values. But as soon as I cross over to this blue bar, you can see the color values changing over here. Just take note of the real time changes in the info tab as I move across the image. So this is good to note here that this section is for real time values and this part is for just permanent values. You can delete your color sampler points for that move your cursor inside this circle until the cursor icon changes. Then press alt on your keyboard. When you see the scissor, left mouse click on it. Alt, left mouse click. Or you could delete all your color sampler pins that you have on your image at the same time by clicking clear all. You can also choose your color modes that you want to view. So let me just click a color sampler point over here. Right now in this permanent section the color values are shown in RGB. But you can just click on this down arrow and then choose maybe CMYK or any other color skills you like. You can also change the color modes in this real time section as well. And this section over here is to view two sets of values for the same color side by side. Say I want to view the values of the same color in HSP and RGB as well. So as soon as I move the color sampler cursor through the image, you can see the corresponding values in the color section. You can also change the unit for the position coordinates. For that, click on the down arrow over here and choose the unit that suits your project. So now it's showing the cursor position in inches. For the next option, let me just zoom into the image first. You can see we have only one color sampler pin at the edge of this orange bar. It's placed on this particular pixel here. Now we'll take a look at the sample size. At present, it's set to point sample. What it does is that it just samples this pixel on which the color sampler point is and then shows the values over here. But I want you to note that as soon as I change the sample size from point sample, to 3 by 3 average, the RGB values over here are gonna change. 
that's because the color sampler point is gonna sample all the pixels that fall within 3 by 3 pixel area around it average those pixel colors and then show the value over here now with that logic if i choose 5 by 5 average in sample size the color sampler point is gonna include even more pixels that fall within the area of 5 by 5 pixels and obviously the values over here are gonna change and this is all i have for the color sampler tool in photoshop make sure to check the other videos i'll see you next time bye